We're springing into step for customers from pressure washing to barbecue cleans, bathroom deep cleans to big carpet repairs. But it doesn't stop there. We're planning the goals and targets for next quarter and next year. We're at a new contract site, deep cleaning, ready for the contract start. Oh, I'm worn out just listing it. Let's come and have a look. Because I'm Lee, this is Vapor Clean. Let's see behind the clean. It's Saturday the 16th, starting the week early. I'm putting a bit of overtime in because we've got some big changes coming. I've heard a few people talk about how they don't make the decisions quite quick enough to you know, pull the trigger on certain things quick enough to get their company ahead so then it slows them down before it goes ahead. I've made those mistakes. I'm not perfect, I can't say I don't still do it every now and again, but I'm working very hard to make sure that I don't do that. We're in the middle of that process of making sure that we are pulling the trigger on things to make the next steps possible. We've got the technology that I've been talking about in previous episodes being delivered and being installed. If you haven't heard about that, click the link above so you can catch up on a previous episode. Got a couple of other little bits and pieces to do as well that I need to do, so we're gonna get that done today. Get ahead so we've got a fiery week coming next week. There we have it. Time is getting on. It has took longer than we expected, but we've got one computer in the corner. That one is for Craig to work from, so he feels more part of the team and has a more flexible uh sorry, no, a more efficient way of working when it comes to the content and everything else because everything can be downloaded to the computer. That computer has been custom built. It's got a massive internal storage, a super, super fast processor on it um, and everything else. So that is for him. And then over here, we have another computer installed, which is basically for Chloe. Um, so Chloe can work from that computer because in the mornings, she will be supporting the contract side of the business, which gives us more hours on that side of the business to be supporting our customers, communicating, and basically getting being more efficient there as well. Um, obviously, at the moment, we have got this space free, which is where Chloe is currently working from, but that space will be taken over by the other customer service person. We then have Sean who works here, but we have the afternoon space there as well. So we've got this more capacity. It makes us more efficient in the mornings. Isn't gonna make a great deal in the afternoons, but it's certainly gonna get, make more of an issue in the mornings. Then lastly, over in here, this silly little box down in the corner, I'm just gonna turn some lights on while I'm going. This, what looks like a silly little box down in the corner, here is our NAS. Basically, network accessible storage. It gives us a huge amount of storage here in the office for all of our content creation. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of expense. It's a lot of an investment. Let us know if you think it's a waste of money, but obviously for me, the, the opinion is hitting my mic. The opinion is that we're investing in the marketing, we're making it easier, we're making it more efficient, and we're just pushing the business forward. The same as obviously having the extra personnel. Now, I'm not done for the day. Time is getting on, but in last week's episode, you heard me talking about the issues we were having with one of the carpet machines and a couple of bits of kit for the carpet machines. So I've got to get them fixed, and we're gonna go and do that now. So what do we have? This is the carpet machine. Last week, if you didn't see the episode, Vacuum number one, this one here, because you've got two vacuum motors in this, which is what gives it so much suction. Vacuum number one failed. So we had to take this out. Now these machines are designed amazingly, so it's a very simple job to take this out, put a new one in. Took this out, did that, absolutely fine. Got to a job working absolutely lovely, but not for long. It lasted about an hour and then overheated. There's this tiny little fan down in here. Basically figured out that's failed, it's not working, so this capacity, this area is getting way too hot which then the thermal cut out on the vacuum is saying no we're going to protect you turn off and that's what it's doing so we need to change this fan fix this back in place because i did move this because we thought there was something blocking it from below 
but there's not. So we need to chain the fan, fix that back in, and we'll see if it's all working. So there we have it, all done. Um, took less than 10 minutes to be fair. Obviously I could have sent that straight to the manufacturers to get them to fix that for me. Um, but it's all about being frugal on your costs. For the sake of 10 minutes, I've done it myself. Now what we're listening for, all I've got to do is test it, is just turn it on and I'm hearing just for the listening for the buzz of that fan. That's a bit worrying, I just didn't have that. Crap. Okay, what they said is they need to get into the motherboard, which is in the front panel there. Um, and just swap wires over because it is a slightly older model. Um, so I'll just take that into them to get them to do that. So this is what we call a detail wand. And basically this is what we clean upholstery with, stairs with, detailed areas, hence the phrase detail wand. As you'll see, there's another little piston in there as well, which is pushed down by the trigger, but that is not pushing up which means it's constantly open and obviously once you fill it once you turn on the pump for the carpet machine it just pushes back through so we need to take this out now the difference is because once again that whole piece there sorry there to there that piece in the middle is another 45 quid if you buy the whole thing however Again, this is why we like these machines and these parts, because we have a repair kit. There you go, busted in a thousand pieces. We're gonna put that in. That plastic washer could wear away. Well, so there we have it. Trigger's fixed. Spray is fixed. So that gets Dave's kit all done. The machine I'll have to take in to the manufacturers. They're local to us. So we can take that over to them, get that fixed very quickly. They said it'll be about a 10 minute repair, but it involves a little bit of soldering and stuff like that. Soldering I'm not getting involved in. So we'll get that done and then we'll all be up and running and ready to go. It's now about half past four, it's 10 to five. It is 10 to 5, Saturday. So that's it for today, and I'll be back Monday. Don't let so, the cost of it scare you. It's Monday, the 18th of March. I cannot believe how quick the time is flying by. We're well over halfway through the month. It is crazy. Just headed, heading into the office now. Um, be interesting to see what the team think of the new setup and the computers, everything else. But the day has already started. I've had a quick message from Ashley asking for a little bit of advice and asking me to give him a call. So I'm gonna do that now. Hi Lee. How you doing? You alright? Yeah, not too bad. This place that we're at is like really, really expensive. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's the dentist place, isn't it? The dentist place? Yeah, he's a dentist. Owns his own uh, no. owns his own um, dentistry in Gloucester. Have you by any chance seen any pictures or anything? A while ago, I think, possibly. The floor, I can understand hard brush with a rotary and all that, because it's all just tiled flooring. It's their sofa that's going to be the issue. I've um, seen the sofa. That doesn't look like an issue at all. Just mini tech. Uh, yeah, I ain't got a mini tech and neither is George. So I have rung Jordan, run all the way over there to go grab it if need be. Because it's a 25 grand sofa, that's what I'm more worried about. Yeah, shoot one of you shoot over and get the mini techs. Don't take the chance. Um mini techs do a fine job. The sofa's extravagant because it's designed and not the fabric it's made of, let me put it that way. Okay, so don't yeah, don't yeah. let so... the cost of it scare you. What actually raises things for me a little bit more is you just said about the hard floor brush on the floor Ooh. because it's hard floors two questions number one have you got a hard floor wand uh no can't clean a hard floor with your normal wand because you will damage it will it. scratch it you will scratch yeah, yeah, the yeah. out the floor you've got to be very careful on domestic hard floors because it depends how 
sensitive they are and what they're made of. It is like marble slabs. No, I wouldn't be putting a hard floor wand on that, a hard floor brush on that. Um, no. Because likelihood is, you know, they're high gloss and stuff like that. I mean, like, chances of, of damaging it are quite slim, but you might just put an odd scratch or something like that in it. You want? If either of you got a steamer, I got a steamer. Yeah. So do you have any floor attachments with that little steamer? Yes, it's got that one pad thing to brush across. Yeah, yeah. Because we had to, me and Lee had to do it for that pub, didn't we? Steam it with that instead. Okay. Um, you'll be better off steaming it with that. You'll be amazed how much lifts off of it anyway. Oh, Run over right. with a dry mop, just your standard mops afterwards. Go over it yeah, afterwards yeah. like that. Less less risk of doing any damage or anything like that. All right, thank you, Lee. No worries. Catch you later. Make sure and get loads of content, all right, because that was on the on the list for that job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, brilliant. Thank you. Brilliant. Catch you later. Bye. Bye. Andrew, bye. Back at the office now. I can see why he's nervous. That is a particular site, the customer. I mean, it's a very, very, very expensive house. Don't get me wrong. We know when that one came in, um, we pulled it up on Google Maps and stuff like that, and we were having a look at it and things. And it, it, sometimes it just makes the guys nervous. Um, but no issues there. We'll get that all sorted. Right, I'm going to head into the office and see what they all think. Morning. You all right? You all right, Craig? That's a very big smile. You got cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm in here today. Oh, amazing. Thank you. It's got Kinder Runner filling with the business size. <gasps> the chocolate there is Maltese teasers with a Maltese bunny and some mini <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> See if that'll pack. I love Easter. <laughs> and it's so cute and I was like laughing. I was like, so I've been playing cookies on my computer. Oh, I forgot to close it down, didn't I? <laughs> I was actually my nephew, to be fair. He's my brother-in-law. When he came in, he was he brought him with him. Uh, um, <laughs> he brought him with him, obviously, to play with my kids, but then my kids went over their other cousins because it was oh. their other nanny's birthday. and It was It was because I left your computer on on Friday. When they came in Saturday, they saw it and it was on. They were like, oh, can we play games? I was like, oh, whatever, carry on. And then decided to freeze me. So you know all the fans we've got in there? They decided to get them out of there and set them all up in the, in the office and turn them all on and just leave them on. It was like, really? Come on. All I want to do is just get this all done. And it was just like, yeah. So. Okay. How are you? Nice to meet you. You all right? How are you doing, mate? Yeah. yeah. Sorry you've been inflicted with Matt today, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it could be worse, trust me. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> So that's Paul, our new support op in the Gloucester area. Really nice to meet him. Feels a bit weird, actually, to be quite honest, because as the business grows and develops, my role changes and develops as well. And it means basically I am less involved in the recruitment of each individual. So I've not met Paul before today, um, but I've heard lots of things about him. And as you will see, if you keep watching in our quarterly planning session, a lot of what we're planning on is building that team, making that team stronger and help us to push forward onto the next steps. And the Gloucester area for us is getting really, really strong and growing quite well, especially on the contract side of the business. So it's nice to bring on such a positive person with a really good outlook and attitude um, to sort of problem solving and helping team members and customers as well. Really excited about what, what Paul can bring to the team, basically. Um, and you're just going to have to keep watching to see how he develops and what the plans actually are in that quarterly planning session. So this is the kitchen of the after. In there, still slightly wet, because right, he wanted it remopped. Right. Um, don't know how well you're going to be able to tell the difference, because this is just the natural colour. But yeah, then you've got different stones in here. So you've got a white one there, white one there, white one there, white one there, the yellow one there, and another white one there. And then obviously we still got this area to so do. They, yeah, so they wrapped it up, they managed to get it done and... Yeah, so in the end, happy. obviously, they cleaned it four times how you said. Yeah. They went over it by hand, they did the brush, like the hard floor brush, everything like that. They were still a bit nervous, so obviously I've called him a couple of times and just said, look, you know, if he's being difficult, I'll speak to him. Like, yeah. Don't get yourself that like, I'm happy to yeah. speak to him. Yeah. Um, 
and then I just spoke to Ashley now and he said that normally when he works out for a city, he'll just say that carpet clean or whatever. Yeah. He's literally broke down everything all on the receipt. So when he looks at it, it's like you can see the value yeah. in it. That's good. And yeah, he had no, he was actually quite happy in the end, George was saying, he was fine. There was no problem with payment at the end, I think, because obviously they invested the extra time as well. So. And I, I think a lot of the time that is the thing, and I, I like in contradicting completely what I said this morning about yeah. like potentially not always explaining to the customer and stuff like that. But I think that's potentially what maybe they they yeah. he wanted he wanted yeah. them to see and try everything yeah and he probably felt like he got more value for money yeah because. They tried everything and also stayed longer. I think they probably put him on the back foot a little bit by kind of asking about... Rather than being the, very the, like... Rather than like we were saying we earlier. Do. This yeah. is what we can't. This is what we're going to do. This is why we're going to do it and, yeah. and, and stuff like that. So time's getting on now. The guys have only just kind of finished up on the dentist's house deep clean. And it's a bit of a stark reminder really of the fine line between making sure you deliver all the right standards, making sure that the customer's happy or the customer is always right, if you like. I hate that phrase, by the way. But we always want to make sure we do everything we can for the customer. Today, though, that's kind of got a little bit out the other way and we are verging into the territory of a little bit unrealistic expectations. Um, obviously, you've seen the before and afters and the stuff after that last bit of footage that you've seen, the customer's basically asked them to go back over it again they're not happy it's not enough of a difference and stuff like that um which is really it's really difficult and ash and george have really gone above and beyond to the point that ashley's been on his hands and knees you know scrubbing by hand to um prove to the customer that you know we've done everything and it's the best result we can achieve and stuff like that and we're using a variety of solutions and methods and, and this that and the other all like we've had chloe and danny on the phone to him talking to him sort of trying to um put it across and, and everything else but sometimes unfortunately we have to accept that we can't satisfy everyone and we've got to a point where he's reasonably happy but i just feel like it's probably going to bite us in the ass again at some point and i can't blame the team at all because the team have done everything they can including staying there for a good extra couple of hours in their own time you know this isn't you know we're already getting late in the evening now um beyond the time they're supposed to be finishing they just they haven't walked away they've done everything and they possibly can and we just can't match his expectations and it is a case of in all honesty it's a case of it's a little bit unrealistic like i say you've seen the before and afters drop us a comment if you think that we could have done more or the result would have should have been better but you know they've they've really 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 um worked their backsides off and and sort of tried to make sure he's as happy as he possibly can but it doesn't always work so that's where we are with that one um we're just gonna we've you know we've had to get to the point where he's relatively happy um and then we'll go away from there but i think there's going to be a little bit of a complaint down the line which we might have to deal with and you know try and explain that that's what we've done that's why i like content as well because you can also see what we've done how we're doing it and everything else and you can see the before and after it's more difficult though i prefer to do ones that are really really dirty you do a place that's really dirty you can make a massive difference on it and it will look really different straight away and that's it's easier to satisfy someone like that quite frankly um, than someone you're already dealing with a, a relatively clean place but it is what it is I mean, I've got, I've got an hour. I mean, Lee wouldn't complain, would he? He wouldn't complain that, would he? No, it'd be a surprise. I'll sweep it out, I'll sweep the most of it out first. Yeah? I'll sweep it out first, as soon as the moss, I'll sweep it, sweep it first. Mm. Otherwise, you can bag it as much rubbish as I can, otherwise, you can make too much mess. Yeah, good idea. Find something, Craig. Oh, yeah. A worm. Oh. Are you both doing alright?
Batman logo. He's <laughs> trying to tell you something, Scott. He's okay. trying to tell you something, see? Yeah. You always said you were a superhero. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're a legend, mate, absolutely. I knew you'd keep yourself busy. You can't stand standing still, can you? <laughs> it's Tuesday. Um, just arrived at the office. We're going to head straight over because today is our quarterly planning session. So myself and the leadership team are going to sit down, have a look at where we are with our different plans and what we think we can achieve. So let's go and check that out. Also, going to treat them to a cheeky little breakfast. Unsafe <laughs> 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 work environment. <laughs> That's the least of your worries. <laughs> Oh. Really? <laughs> I gotta be honest, I find that hilarious. Because <laughs> that was the one that Chloe loved. Yeah. yeah. That's the trouble with narrowing it down a bit too much, and that's the problem because you don't really know till you get them through the door. You get the ones that are on the phone that have got the gift of the gab, and are, <clears throat> like, yeah. they can sort of talk you around like that, and you get a really good feeling, but they're the ones that drop off the quickest, don't they? Yeah. Told Shard, it's like she didn't interview the best, but we've had the, like, we both had a good feeling about it. I never get a good feeling when someone is overly confident and just really puts their self across really well because I just feel like they've probably interviewed too many times. Why did you come over too confident but then you have had a lot of time? <laughs> 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 so you guys right. To be fair, you weren't a, I you, wasn't you were quite I was like, forward. I've, I've applied for a few. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Remind me. <laughs> you were forward but you weren't confident. Mm. Which that's different, because I think that shows an underlying confidence. Eventually, yeah. rule the f***ing roost, yeah, basically. Exactly. <laughs> I have no idea if I came the right way. George is up at Steepleton Court today doing a last minute deep clean. Now this is a customer we've worked for quite a few times. Um, care home facility, retirement community, that's the word I'm looking for as well. And it's really, really important for them to have excellent hygiene standards. Um, it was very last minute, they needed it done urgently and we've been able to move some things around and squeeze some things in. Hats off to Dave because he's um, only a few weeks into his training, but he's happy to go and basically be a counted person on that clean and obviously George as well. So we've managed to get it in, keep the customer happy and get the job done as per usual. Doing a kitchen deep clean on Steepleton Court in Sionchester. As you can see, it's not ridiculously filthy, but they just want to clean as the residents spending a lot of money to live here. We will be pulling everything out, cleaning and pipes. Um, the oven will be cleaned throughout. Polishing up the canopy. look bad so they will be pulled out deep clean floor scrubbed and then put back in a correct position as coffee machine um, we will be cleaning and descaling coffee machine today um, it's a hot hold by the look of it so we will be cleaning that today and potentially pulling out as it's on wheels. The pot wash area is the worst area in this kitchen. It does need cleaning. The grease trap is absolutely full. 
the floors feel free. This is there's a little hurt we will we'll be polishing polishing and cleaning up. The walls again are the worst in this situation. The front of the counter will be cleaned, polished up and yeah. So we're here for two days. We will be getting some footage. We'll, we'll show you the final results. We've done alright. We've done okay. No, we haven't smashed it, we haven't blown the world away, but we've done alright. Um, seven fully trained technicians. No. Nope. Nope. I mean that. And then we went back down again. You should all be proud of yourselves as much as anything else. Because we are still heading in the right direction as much as anything. You know, I think Matt has been a, a massive improvement for you, isn't he? Yeah. I think Ollie has a, a huge amount of potential. Even with the bumps in the road, I think there is there is a lot of good stuff to come. I think, and I think once once we can smooth it down, solve a few of these little bumps, get that third person better trained, more consistent as well, it will resolve a lot of the headaches and we'll find it. Um, Q1 of 2024 to 2025, so April, May, June. Um, we put down that for me, it's my goal to get a well-being scheme in place. Him and Danny to have a technician recruited and in training. I think we've already made the decision there's not going to be in training, that's going to be trained up and running well before yeah. June. But I do think we're, what a training is one of our biggest things at the moment. We need to make sure we're nailing our training, making sure we're using that video training and stuff like that, which is something I want to come on and ask about actually, to be fair. Wednesday the 20th, I'm in the office. I've got a bit of a boring day today, to be quite honest. A very, very boring to put on video, so I'm not gonna <laughs> bore you with that all day. Um, basically, I've got another tender to do, but it's a slightly different tender because it is all for the specialist side. It's basically lots of um, external cleaning. So if I just show you this spreadsheet, although we will blur this out a little bit, um, but if you can see that this is every single job that we've got to price um, on a fixed price as well. Um, it goes further that way and we've got all of those sort of tabs to do as well. Lots of mathematical calculations to do to make sure that we price it right. And the joy of a tender is obviously the fact that you're tendering for so far ahead. And if you get it wrong, you lose simple as that but if you overestimate too much you just don't get the work so it's joys that's my joy for the day technicians are busy all day today we've got the steepleton court kitchen deep clean being finished that's a high-end deep clean that we started yesterday we had to split that over a couple of days because basically we just didn't have the team capacity to get it done in a day and the customer wanted it done asap um, so that one's going to be wrapped up today. We've got some carpet clean going on today and uh, some bathroom deep cleans and steam cleaners and stuff like that as well. So busy day for the techs. Boring mathematical day for me. Day two of the deep clean. Um, as you can see, this day we cleaned the main line, polished the doors, the sides. As you can see, this side wasn't polished this day, this side was. There is a big difference. Then, yes, it has been used since we've cleaned it for staff lunches. Grease catcher, fat catcher, I don't know what's called. Um, yeah, that's clean. So that's it, I'm all done. It is now six o'clock. I've literally been working on that tender all day long. Um, a couple of bits and pieces in between just to help some other people out and things that we need to do to keep us all on track. But my brain is absolutely fried. It is so draining to be working on some of those things and, and really working out the figures. As I said earlier, the trouble is if you get it wrong in the fact that you're too expensive, you just won't get the work at all. So you've got to be so careful. But if you get it wrong in the sense that um, you're too cheap, then you're not going to be making any money or worse still, you'll be losing money to get the work done. Um, but it's over, it's done. Um, 
that's it for today. I'm not going to submit it today though. So what I always do is I will leave it to sit, refresh my mind a little bit, let it sit for a day or two. And then I go back over it and read it a second time, double check the figures, and then I will submit it. So that hasn't got to be submitted until end of play Friday, but I'm gonna leave it tomorrow, check it Friday and go from there. But that is it for Wednesday. Get my brush on it, I think. Been a little a little while since I've been out quoting for the specialist site. We've obviously trained up a couple of different technicians to do those that quoting, and we managed to hand a lot of that off, which made it easier because they could quote when they were out and about. Obviously, being a, a person down at the moment, that's put a little bit more pressure on. Still very very busy it's tight for them time wise so i offered to jump in and go and do a few quotes started out two ended up as four <laughs> but you know again if we're all in the same if they're all in the same area it ties in it just makes it worthwhile and i've missed going out and doing the quotes and stuff like that as well so i'm gonna go and do that this morning busy day for the technicians um we've got a very large pressure washing job on well very i say very large a very large domestic pressure job on pressure washing job on and um, Jordan has got a big carpet repair job on as well so it's very busy and the contract side is also very busy as well as they are going and doing a deep clean at the Wales and West truck and bus that's the one I'm gonna head over and do these quotes and we'll have a look around yeah so it's sort of uh, just a case of all like utensils and whatnot. Yeah, clean everything um, out. What would you like to be cleaned? Everything, like your hot cupboards, your fryers, um, everything. Well, if we could get a cost for you. This we don't done once a year, isn't it? Once a year for this, yeah. yeah. Done. Sorry? Have you never had it done? No, never had it done. <laughs> <laughs> Not I know of. Yeah. Someone might have been doing it. it. It's one of those things though, it does, it gets missed. It's part of it. But this customer had another company out to fix their repairs on their carpets and they were so distraught at how bad the carpets were they had to get it done again despite being hundreds of pounds out of pocket this time though they did their research right they looked online they watched our videos and they've seen our amazing results Jordan's took his time, cut this out, made the repair absolutely spot on. He's over the moon, and when you see this result, you will see why. That's the dodgy result from the Cowboys, and that's ours. How amazing is that? Customers over the moon, so much so, he gave Jordan a cracking breakfast. We've had the 2P information. That's the transfer of responsibility for the employees when for a contract that we're going into. A um, little bit of a convenient one, this one. So the client isn't 100% whether or not they have an evening cleaner. So they're supposed to have three cleaners. They know they've got the two, because one's early morning, one's middle of the day, so it's daytime cleaner. Um, but the, late, the last one is a late night cleaning operative. They're not 100% sure 
if they actually have one without going into lots of detail of checking, checking CCTV, alarm codes and stuff like that, um, they don't really know. And to be honest, they've lost so much faith in this company, they didn't bother trying to check because they knew they were just gonna get rid of them. Conveniently, the two that they know about are, are transferring over. The one that's not has all of a sudden left the business and is not, won't be looking to transfer over convenient that one if you ask me uh, yeah, just it does amaze me some of these things that these these companies get away with or try and get away with think that is acceptable it's ridiculous you know you've got what was that that's 15 hours so 15 hours a week this person is supposed to be working they're having the client is having complaints from the morning cleaning operative because they're basically saying they don't believe anything's being done in the evenings and nothing's been happening about it two and two i get four personally but what do you think drop it in the comments let me know what you think do you think it's convenient or do you think that's just me being a bit too judgmental we shall see anyway looking forward to getting in there glad to know that the other two want to transfer over and we'll see where we go from there Am I right in thinking that you're up at truck and bus doing the deep clean today? I am indeed. I'm coming to the office. I'm just leaving Hornets now, getting my beloved breakfast wrap, and I'm driving to come and grab the stop for truck and bus. I'm sorry I was didn't answer. Mate, I left my phone. I fell asleep on the sofa last night. And I left to, to leave my phone in the van charging. Jesus, that's all right, mate. I didn't know if I got you too early, to be honest. I didn't know what time you were starting. So no, I was in Hornets, mate. No, were you? Bloody yeah. hell. You've got, mm. you've got to watch the hours you're doing, Matt. It's not just that, mate. It's the fact I've got four kids as well. <laughs> well, yeah, it's that as well, yeah. <laughs> Genuinely, because she can't do any ice work. Yeah. Like, I, I stop work here, but then I do the same work I do here at home until about 7 o'clock. Yeah. Then it's the arguments of shut up, stop fighting, get downstairs, get ready for bed, get in bed, go to sleep. Then I can relax. Yeah, yeah. I know that yeah. feeling. I know that feeling. Yeah. The yeah. joys, eh? We think it's a great idea to have these kids, don't we? <laughs> well, in the moment, it's great, yeah. It's yeah. just the, the years afterwards. <laughs> we wouldn't change it, really, though, would we? That's the thing. No, uh, no. You get that one smile and everything goes, doesn't it? So, there we go. Well, for me, it's football. I love football. My boys is great. I bet, love yeah. It. You all right? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm up by yeah, the airport, so I'm at a bad signal area, so. Yeah, right. But yeah, I'll grab some, I'll do a, I'll do a time lapse video again. These changing rooms are horrendous, aren't they? So. Oh, sorry, I'll take my tripod in as well. Awesome, you're a legend. Thank you very much, I'll catch you later. Yeah, yeah. Have a good day, mate. And you, cheers. They hate me nagging, really, but see, if I don't nag, you don't get the content. Let us know what content you like as well. Drop us a comment below. Tell us what you want more of. If there's certain things that you think that you want to see better, you know, more detail of, if there's something you want more. Do you want to listen to me talk more? I got more stories if you want more stories, or do you want to see more cleaning? We think you want more cleaning. We're trying to get you more cleaning. It's very difficult. The guys are all, all busy. They've all got stuff to do. Um, and obviously we have to look after the customers first. We have to make sure we got the results first. Therefore, sometimes the cleaning uh, the filming, sorry, is slips down the, the priority list a little bit. But let us know what you want and we'll keep trying to get exactly that. It's Friday, end of the week. Feeling it a little bit, to be honest, but we're here at the office. A little bit early, because I wanted to get in. I need to do some recording for Craig. Go on, Eric. Oh. I need to do some recording for Craig. 
um, for the shorts. I should need to do the audio for him. He was working on them yesterday. Um, it's easier for me if I get into the office when it's nice and quiet, I can work on his new computer and just record those that audio to get that done. It's gonna be a busy day today. I've got lots to do. I've got to help out Kim as well on the recruitment. I'm just gonna break the back of a few bits there. We need to review a couple of the positions. Things have slowed down applicant wise just because it's that time of year, I think. People are starting to think about Easter and stuff like that. And we do have quite a few jobs available. It's gonna be working on that as well. Team are doing really well. We've had a strong week on bookings this week. Technicians are busy. I think Ashley probably needs to catch her breath a little bit this week as well, because she's been flat out doing different bits and pieces. Um, they were over at Truck and Bus yesterday, getting that site up and ready. They're working on AD coming up and running as well. So it's just all flat out and we've got more to do. So let's get cracking. Big reveal. So that's it, job number two done, which is to double check the tender that was right in the other day for the external cleaning. Double check that I'm happy with all the details, all the prices and everything else that we provided, get that uploaded and get that submitted. That's been done. Now all we've got to do is cross our fingers and wait. Still haven't heard back from the school one yet, but um, actually said that it had a, an announcement date this week um but we haven't heard back from that yet so still crossing our fingers for that one but we'll see how that goes that's that done kim's abandoned me yeah. i was supposed to be helping kim this morning i think she got herself confused yesterday on um what she had to do today because she was in a little bit of a rush so i got a feeling she forgot she was going to ad with ashley um so they're going up there to do a site setup meeting we'll see how that one goes but i'm going to jump on to the jobs anyway even though kim's not here because we did have someone in yesterday for a customer service trial um and we'd like to just basically cross the i's dot the t's and, and see where we are we've got a few other people that are kind of waiting as well so we're just going to see how that goes and i want to do that for my peace of mind before the team let me know whether or not they want to go ahead and offer that position <laughs> Well, that's it for this week and what a week it's been. Absolutely crazy busy, lots going on, lots ch lots of changes. And actually it's ended up a record breaking week for the customer service team in bookings and sales. So we are absolutely over the moon. Lots of thinking to come ahead for next week though. It's a short week next week, but we've got lots of decisions to make about how we want to grow the team and who we want to join it, which is a huge decision. So come back next week to find out more about that. If you do want to watch some more though, please click here for our latest upload and click here for a video that is recommended just for you. And please do remember to click subscribe down below turn on the notification bell so you get the heads up next time we upload a video. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next week behind the cleans.